Okay, so I've been chasing a rumble strip sound on this car for months now. I've only had it a couple of months. And uh, everybody's been saying, you know, it's the torque converter, you know, glycol missing, mixing in the transmission, etc., etc. And everybody's made it a huge deal to try to solve this. But it's actually quite a simple problem. And I think it's probably why it goes so undiscovered in these cars. So if you have a look, if you grab the drive shaft and give it a good spin forward and back, you know, you can actually see. Well, you can't see, and probably which makes it so much worse. I actually have to use a stethoscope to locate exactly where the sound's coming from. But basically, even if you see all this dust around, you know, that means that some oil has come out from somewhere and is attracting this dirt to stick to it. And you can even see a little tear right up there in the top corner on the u-joint so if we shake this if, we, if i just rotate this quickly forward and back just listen to the sound and this was this is what will be causing your rumble strip sound you know it sort of sounds like you've got a bad wheel bearing almost although those usually sound more of a humming sound but check this out when you rotate this quickly fo forward and backwards see that You can actually see the play if you look at the bottom. <clears throat> so now it's just a simple question of can you get this repaired or do you need a whole new drive shaft? Most people are saying you need an entire new drive shaft, which they don't seem to be too expensive. But I reckon you can either get one from a wrecker or I'm pretty certain you can find some specialist shop that will have a you know, universal joint to replace. It shouldn't be that much of an issue. I mean, if someone put it together, someone can take it apart. That's my sort of philosophy. All right, cool. Enjoy.